The Duplicated Man Paul Danton was a member of a subversive political party which had an answer, make peace with Venus. But the only way to peace was through the overthrow of security, and Danton had found the one weapon which would make security's fall possible, the long-forgotten duplication machine. It had been well forgotten, for a machine which could make up to five duplicates of any living person was too dangerous to have around. But now, what if the top members of security were kidnapped, briefly, and then, suddenly, there were five of each? No government could endure such chaos. So, a new office has opened in Stone's Way, which promises to deliver serenity, focus, and effortless mastery of nearly any skill. A person can rent time in one of their capsules, which have been developed from an alien technology captured only recently, and given enough sessions, they can learn practically anything. A better vocabulary and more impactful facial expressions, or any language, healthy habits, confidence, the ability to organize and manage time, the ability to tell if someone is lying, the ability to lie without being caught, and so on. The human nervous system is an electrical system. The capsules work, according to what I've heard, because they transmit directly to the brain, ultimately reshaping neuronal connections to create a new mind. According to Mrs. Denton, for many years an optometrist here in town, the capsules are miraculous. She has been our town's early adopter and has practically monopolized one of the three capsules in the office. She has told her friends she can now speak French and Urdu, she can dance. She can bake. The machines are marvelous. She invited her friends and a few town notables to a private recital in her home. She would serve cake. She would read aloud some poetry from the Urdu Gita. She would dance. It would be a wonderful occasion. Well, they found her lying on the ground in her kitchen. The walls were smeared with Duncan Hines brownie batter. She was mumbling. It sounded like French but it was very obviously a bad imitation of what French sounds like to an American speaker. Uh -huh, uh -huh. She was wearing a tutu and nothing else. Surprisingly, the purveyors of the capsules have not closed up their office and left town. They say they warned Mrs. Denton. She was using the capsules too much, too fast. They had her sign a release. They point to other successes, like Tilly Umbertson, who no longer fears her cats. They now offer one free introductory session. All I can say is this. It tingles. And my singing voice is much better. Je vais vous donner du 